The following video provides an overview of our expectations and requirements when launching and retrieving your boat at Coburn Power Boats. In the interest of safety and to assist with the smooth operation at the launching ramps, we ask that you follow these guidelines. All boats that are launched need to be registered and it is a requirement that the person in control of the boat is a club member and also hold a current recreational skipper's ticket. Crew members that are to assist need to have at least a basic understanding of the launching procedures. It's also important that the skipper and any crew clearly communicate their intentions to other members using the ramps during preparation, launching and retrieval. Before launching your boat, please ensure that your battery is in good condition and fully charged and that you have sufficient fuel plus a reserve for your planned trip. All safety equipment should be in good condition and in date. Please remember that driving your boat off or onto your trailer is not permitted at any time. In addition, having any person in the boat during any manoeuvres while on land is also not allowed. Before moving to the launching ramp, it's important to make sure your boat is ready for the water. This can be done by entering the outer preparation bay lane. Firstly, check to confirm all hull bungs are fitted. Ensure the motor or motors are raised to avoid contact with the ramp surface. Remove trailer light bar and cable if required. Secure lead ropes to bow and stern cleats. Check the safety chain is secured to the bow of the boat. You're now ready to launch. When your boat is all set up, proceed towards the ramp apron entry position in the inner slip lane. Make sure you select one of the launch only ramps. Align your vehicle and trailer to reverse into the appropriate lane towards the ramp. Have your crew member hold the lead ropes and prepare to walk beside the boat when being reversed towards the ramps. Ensure the area along the jetty is sufficient for the length of your boat. Stop on the ramp decline near the water's edge. Have a crew member position themselves on the walkway while still holding the lead ropes. When safe to do so, remove the safety chain and winch strap. Reverse your vehicle and trailer to a suitable water depth to enable release and flotation of your boat. Ask your crew member to move your boat towards the outer end of the jetty provided there is sufficient space to do so. Secure lead ropes to the jetty cleats. Move your vehicle and trailer from the ramp and apron area and park within one of the marked white parking bays. Remember, no one should be on the boat during the launch procedure. You are now able to board and you're all set for a great day out on the water. When returning to the club, remember the ramps can occasionally be busy, so please allow sufficient time and above all, always be patient. Have your lead ropes ready. Only approach when safe to do so and use one of the retrieve only ramps. Move as far forward as possible towards the ramp. Secure lead ropes to jetty cleats. It's now safe to turn your motor off. Raise the motor leg to avoid contact with ramp surfaces. Please ask your crew and guests to disembark and move to shore off the jetty quickly but safely to avoid congestion. Once the boat is secure, it's time to retrieve your vehicle and trailer from your parking spot. Release the winch strap to allow a connection to the boat at the end of the trailer when in position on the ramp. Ensure that the winch is operational and that the power supply is connected if electric. When safe to do so, enter the ramp apron area via the inner slip lane and align to reverse towards the selected retrieve only ramp. Reverse to the appropriate position in the water on the ramp and secure the position of the vehicle.
Check the winch is locked into position to prevent unnecessary additional strap release. The person attending the trailer should position themselves to allow connection of the winch strap to the boat. Have the crew member release the lead ropes from the jetty and move the boat towards the trailer. Attach the winch strap and winch the boat onto the trailer with the crew member assisting as required. Once the boat is in the correct position on the trailer, secure the safety chain. You may now move your vehicle and boat onto the apron and to an appropriate parking bay or enter one of the eight boat washdown bays. For the convenience of all members, if using a washdown bay, please limit your time to 10 minutes. Remove bungs to ensure hull drainage and flush engine if required. Refit and connect electrical cables for trailer light bar if needed. Once you've confirmed that the boat is fully secured to the trailer and checked that all lights are working, you're ready for a safe drive home.